Welcome back to the Road to KSP2, and we are starting off today with a little, you know, just deorbiting some Kerbals from Tai Chi Station. And yes, in this episode, we are actually sending out our KSS Carthage all the way out to Jewel. Um, we're sending it there. It's all we're really doing. Takes absolutely forever, and you'll get to see all of that good stuff in this video today. Yeah. Um, anyway, here we are. We're uh, deorbiting some Kerbals. And look at them go. They're rocketing through the atmosphere at unbelievable speeds that would melt a Kerbal if they were to hop out. Yep. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying with this with so much force, but yeah, look at that. They're on their way down. They're safe. They're coming back home. And uh, speaking of coming around here, um, please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are new around here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we uh, we like, you know, sauce it. But what? Uh, anyway, we're starting off with the KSS Troy. Um, this is its docking module. It's going to be used to dock the, uh, several lander types that we will have regularly come to and fro the overall structure. Yeah, so we're going to have, uh, several lander types. We'll have one lander for... Uh, ISRU, so to create monopropellant, to mine, and to create, um, uh, just to create monopropellant liquid, uh, or whatever fuel we need to create, because I don't know if we're actually create. Do I'm on the fence between lithium fuel, aluminum fuel, uh, liquid hydrogen, and liquid fuel. Uh, I don't know which engine I'm going to use yet, uh, cause, uh, well, you know, I need to do some playtesting. But first off, we've got to do, you know, attach this seg <laughs> this segment to the, to the, you know, gigantic rocket that we are creating. Uh, yeah, we're sending up the Kerbals with this piece too, cause why not? Uh, yeah, they're basically just chilling inside the uh, upper stage, or not the upper stage, but in the uh, docking module. And uh, I have two engineers and a pilot with them, and that'll put a second pilot, or yeah, that'll put a second pilot on the ship, and it will also give us a, uh, like a good, uh, what's it called? I, I, I actually don't know. Uh, it'll give us, like, um, it'll allow us to inflate it once we uh, inflate the things once we get some material kits on board, which we need to do that to inflate the gravity rings and the uh, other habitation modules. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's what's going to happen here. Anyway, so we're slowly closing in on the underside of the gigantic spacecraft that we are building. It's uh, it's actually quite shocking how large this thing will be. Uh, yeah, nothing quite like it. And yeah, here it is, pulling in underneath it. Uh, we're only going to attach one more thing to this whole structure, I believe, and that will be the, uh, the science module. I think that's the only thing left to dock to this, or actually that is the science module, I think. So yeah, we're going to perform lots of science. Uh, the remaining modules on the ship will be the power production slash communications, and then we will also have to attach a, uh, you know, the, the, the fuel, like we have to send it out there. 
anyway, so we are starting off with the SRM-5. Uh, honestly, I don't know the actual name of this mission. I just called it the SRM-5. It's just going to the space station. It's sending up some Kerbals. This is the last time we'll be sending up Kerbals. Because from now on, they're only coming down. They're only coming back. We're abandoning all the stations. We're just going to do it. We need all Kerbals on deck for this mission that is coming up in a couple of episodes. All Kerbals need to be back on Kerbin, effective the end of their, I would say, like almost tours, like you would call it like a tour in Iraq, but it's not really a tour. I, the end of their space tour or whatever. I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to exactly call it. Anyway, uh, we just pulled our uh, rocket into orbit, and yeah, now we are trying to land the first stage. Uh, I tried to aim for land there, but we slowed down a little too fast because, you know, the air brakes are out, and yeah, we just rocket in quickly towards the surface, and yeah, it's... It's golden. It's perfect. It's uh, the landing with this rocket is like perfect in every way. Um, I've even done it on land, off land, on steep surfaces. It just works. It just really works, dude. And uh, yeah. So here we are. We are currently uh, starting up our rendez rendezvous autopilot. And we will get ourselves to, uh, not Jewel. This isn't the Jewel mission yet. The Jewel mission, I believe, is up next. Uh, yeah. So we're just getting close to the space station. We're going to dock up to the space station. And one thing I was thinking about doing in the, uh, in the, with the, uh, the station it's before we leave uh before we leave i'm actually going to dock the station or actually when we come back from our mission we're going to dock the station to the uh we're going to dock the station to the uh to the giant ship that we're building because i believe the <laughs> the ship I just want to see them encounter each other. I just want to see them rendezvous because I want to see them comparatively by size because this ship will be humongous. I'm just I'm just warning you guys. It's going to be massive. Um, it's it'll have huge nuclear engines. The portion that we're seeing right now is like not this, but like what you'll see in just a well, what you already saw earlier in the episode. Uh, what you see right there was just a small portion of it. Like, I would say that's just under half the size. So, yeah, I'm kind of excited for how large that thing will be. And uh, I think the... I think f what I'm going to do is that one of the things that will be docked to it will be an SSTO because that you just need an SSTO. We are going to, uh, oh, I guess we could use it for, uh, we could use it for jewel. No, not jewel. We could use it for, uh, what's it called? Lathe. We could use it on lathe and we could use it. We couldn't use it on, uh, Eve, but yeah. It'll be it'll be pretty good. Also, this rocket's just ma absolutely massive. Uh, this rocket took like four hours just to get it to have a high enough apoaps to go to Jewel. This this entire section is sped up at a uh, well roughly uh, thirty times speed. It it was just absolutely brutal. Okay, I just have to tell you something. After the word brutal, it's this is a completely new clip, literally shot like 20 minutes later. Uh, my computer crashed, and then when it came back, both audio tracks were still there, but then 
uh, Wondershare Filmora in its horrific, horrific design do not get Wondershare Filmora because they completely went back on an entire contract that they signed with everyone who paid a lifetime subscription. I paid a lifetime subscription for Wondershare Filmora over a year and a half ago. And uh, yeah, they, uh, they're they calling this an upgrade, not an update. And yeah, now it doesn't work to go to the next one. And then I have to go to a thing. But occasionally when it shows me the thing, it won't let me get off of the th off of the prompt. And then when I got off the prompt, it f followed it up by deleting half of the stuff on my screen. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, this is the third time I'm recording the audio for this episode. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is uh, this has been uh, quite annoying. Yeah. Anyway, you know, this rocket, it's going out to Jewel. It's, you know, doing its thing. And it it took, you know, well over an hour, an hour and a half to, you know, just try and get it to go anywhere even near Jewel. Yeah. Um, and I've also decided... Uh, what I kind of wanted to talk about, uh, I've decided that starting in the second episode of KSP2, I am going to start doing reviews during long portions of the episode like this, where, you know, nothing's really going on and I just talk about stuff. And so I'll do small little reviews. Um, yeah. I was thinking about doing that. I would like if you, you know, guys had any opinions, please drop them down in the comments. This will also be my time to say, if you get to this point, please drop a comment. Uh, I mean, just say hi. It's nice to just have people say hi in the comments. Just say hello. And uh, yeah. So, yeah, this this rocket is painfully slow. This, this ship is painfully slow. Thank God it's going out to Jewel and dying out there. Like, it, <laughs> that's it. It's uh, it's not doing much more than just sitting around Jewel. Uh, it's going to stay out there and not do anything for the rest of history. Uh, that's, its, that's its main function from now on. It's just going to sit around Jewel and... And we'll come back to it when we reach Jewel with our other one, and we'll dock to it, probably. <laughs> and we will, uh, we'll fuel up with it. We'll probably send it to another planet so that we can fuel up there. Because honestly, I don't think I'm gonna touch the ground of Lave, or if I do, I'm going to, I'm going to permanently send a Kerbal there. Yeah. <laughs> It's a death mission. I'm going to permanently send a Kerbal to the ground on Lathe. Uh, not on Lathe. I've, I've been meaning to say Eve. I'm going to permanently send a Kerbal there. Yeah. Oh, man. There was a little nice eclipse there. It's kind of why I was pointing in that direction. With it hard to be seeing the rocket so you guys could see the wonderful eclipse. Uh, thanks to all of these scatterer mods. They're They're so nice. So glad Scatterer existed because honestly, the, the 2011, 2012, and even the 2016 like texture updates, they just they, just, they, they, they didn't do it. They didn't do it for me. Um, yeah, so we're finally you know reaching out past uh, well, towards Jewel. Um, you know, it was probably about four or five more minutes in real time after this yeah so this was a yeah it was a 30 minute it's a 30 minute thing for me just the 30 minute burn because it was at four times speed it started an hour before the node and it went to an hour after it we're at 30 times speed but in real life it was only four times speed so yeah it just took forever just absolutely forever 
And uh, yeah, here's our final mission of the day. It's the MLM4. Uh, yeah, I don't even remember the naming schemes for any of these things. There's so many things in this series that is e that have started up and then just absolutely just died. Uh, like, we named a continent at one point. We named... We had multiple rockets. Uh, we... We had a mission to Duna that just stopped existing <laughs> at one point. Um, yeah, this this whole save has been quite interesting. And I really can't wait till KSP2's exploration mode. And uh, yeah, I, I, I just really think it'll be pretty fun. Um, yeah, as soon as we get like science, like the science mode, I'll immediately start up a series. I know that the exploration mode won't be like right off the bat because I, I believe exploration mode won't be until after inter like the second star system gets in introduced, which will be interesting. Uh, but yeah, I'm uh, I'm very much excited for this. Uh, for this thing and uh the procedural parts sh should be pretty cool um i would really like it if there was like iva like there's an actual iva mode that would be one of the coolest things to me something that i would love to see in kerbal space program it's just like an iva mode because i hate the transfer thing and i wish you could just transfer them by you know walking them to another seat inside your space station or by floating them to another seat inside the space station i would think that that would be so cool and uh apparently when uh i think matt Lown asked about it they said that they didn't really think about it and that they would think about implementing it um if you know the community wants it so I mean, this is your chance to be like, hey, on the KSP subreddit, it was like, I would love an IVA mode. Or hopefully, maybe immediately there would be a IVA mode uh, mod or something like that. It would just be uh, just be super cool if it was a thing. I, I would really like just moving around on the inside of uh, on the inside of the spaceship parts and things like that. I, I think it would be pretty cool. Yeah, here we are coming in at uh, a very speedy pace. Uh, slowly coming in on the surface. As I believe the sun is rising on the, uh, on the surface of Minmus. Uh, I believe it'll rise in a couple seconds here. Uh, as we slow ourselves down or we just fast forward till day yeah we just fast forward till day never mind uh yeah here i am i get him out and i go to the wrong spacecraft oops and then i uh i send this guy to the right one i send bob to the correct one and then i'll send uh Carmen, the right one. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for you know sticking around and uh, thank you for subscribing. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.